So you've got your pressure washer and you're ready to start cleaning. But which nozzle is the right one for you? Well, it's not rocket science, but choosing the right one might be easier than you think. Before we get started, we want to give a quick shout out to Simpson for providing the pressure washers used in this video. Pressure washers typically come with an assortment of nozzles. There are six basic types. There's a zero degree, 15 degree, 25 degree, 40 degree, soap, and a turbo nozzle. Today we're going to go over each type, when to use them, and how to decide which one to use. The four nozzles with various degree markings and colors shoot out water in a triangle pattern that matches the label. So when you see zero degree, 25 degree, etc., that's describing the spray pattern. Turbo nozzles use a rapid circular spinning motion that makes a zero degree nozzle cover like a 25 degree. These five are the ones that take care of removing buildup. The soap nozzle mixes with soap or other detergents to put a coating of suds on whatever you're cleaning. It's not actually designed to remove gunk on its own. Selecting the right nozzle for the job is all about determining what kind of pressure you want. So let's talk about the zero degree tip. It delivers the absolute highest pressure. When you see the max PSI rating on any pressure washer, that was achieved using the zero degree tip. Use a red zero degree nozzle only for reaching high areas like soffits where that extra pressure gives you better access. It can also really help remove super tough stains and debris from concrete and metal. Get too close, however, and you can just about carve your initials in your driveway. You also don't want to use this tip on painted surfaces, siding, or wood, since it can easily remove coatings or ruin softer materials. It's really important to remember that when using a zero degree nozzle, that you wear the proper PPE as well as closed toed shoes. You certainly don't want any part of this spray touching your body or anyone else's, and here's why. If it can do that to wood, imagine what it'll do to your foot. The yellow 15 degree nozzle is really great for removing tough stains like mold and mildew from PVC fences. However, it does produce quite a strong stream, so you'll want to keep the tip moving. Otherwise, you could remove paint and or damage your material. When using it on siding, make sure you keep the wand far enough away to provide ample spread across the vinyl. Now, we don't recommend this nozzle for use on painted wood siding. That is unless you're prepping it for painting. The green 25 degree nozzle is great for cleaning siding, decks, sidewalks, and driveway. This is a great all-around nozzle. It's also a really good starting place if you're not sure which tip you should use. The white 40 degree nozzle offers the widest spray. It's great for rinsing off the car, washing windows, or just spraying down the patio. Now, if you're dealing with a delicate surface, this nozzle allows you to apply a wider spray at a lower pressure so you don't cause any damage. There's two more nozzles I want to talk about, but first, I want to tell you a little bit about Simpson pressure washers. They take quality pumps and pair them with great engines like Honda to make a pressure washer that's in it for the long haul. Plus, they're consistently less expensive than comparable models from other brands. Check out the entire line of residential, premium residential, and commercial pressure washers at SimpsonCleaning.com. Also, only a small percentage of people who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So, if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Thanks for watching. If you happen to have a soap nozzle, these typically work alongside a delivery system whenever you're spraying foaming detergent or just some regular old car wash along with your water. Most pressure washers either have an onboard detergent tank or allow you to connect a tube directly to the detergent container. It lets you quickly and easily spray down a vehicle, boat, or surface without fear of damaging delicate paints or materials with high pressure nozzle. You can also grab third-party foam cannons that sit at the end of the wand and include their own low-pressure spray nozzle. All right, let's talk about that turbo nozzle. This is a really great invention because it harnesses the power of a zero-degree tip and allows you to cover the scope of a 25-degree tip. So basically, a turbo nozzle gives you the best of both worlds whenever it comes to coverage and pressure. Use it on the same area as you'd use a zero-degree nozzle or a 15-degree nozzle. Just test the area first to ensure you don't damage the surface. We love how it helps clean concrete landscape edging. Just move it along at a rapid pace to avoid damaging the softer concrete. Okay, let's wrap it all up. The trick with choosing the right pressure nozzle or tip is to find the widest nozzle you can use that still cleans your surface effectively. That way you can make the most efficient use of your pressure washer and your time. If you're working on a surface you've never cleaned before, try a 40 degree nozzle in a spot that's a little less conspicuous. Hit the trigger with the nozzle about two feet away from the surface and push in closer until you see it starting to clean. If you don't see results by the time the nozzle is a few inches away, try the next size down and repeat until you're making headway without risking damage to the surface. 
If you do notice you're starting to damage what you're working on, back off immediately and either clean from a little farther away or just switch to a nozzle that's a little wider. There you have it. The secret is to take time and experiment to see which nozzle is best in your application. Because, frankly, there's just no one-size-fits-all solution. But if you have some questions or feedback, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Help us out by subscribing to our channel below. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit that like button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on our latest videos.